My name is Vision Dancer and I'm a Yellow Rhythmic Star and um, yes, I'm happy to share about the Mayan calendar this morning. Uh, what would you like to know? Well, can a calendar be a healing tool according to you? Yes, the, the Mayan calendar is very different than how we think of calendar. We think of calendar like, you know, what day is it like that. But the Mayan calendar actually informs us about the whole matrix of creation. So it helps us to synchronize with all the energies coming through the universe, like the, through our sun, into the planet, and like that. So it's much more than just seeing what day it is. It actually helps us to get into alignment with everything that's happening in nature. It's like the blueprint of the, of the, the it's, it's like the blueprint of how life is created in this planetary field. If you look at it, it's kind of like a map. Or if you think of the periodic table, which lists all the elements for the third dimension, this is like the map for the fifth dimensional aspects, the light codes that help us, like the DNA. Like you see the black X that goes through the Zulkin. It's part of, it's resonant to the DNA. So it helps us to attune to the blueprint that was, is our divine nature. And um, it's such a beautiful thing. It, 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 it brings harmony and synchronicity. Synchronicity is the, is the natural state. All this, um, when we disconnected from nature by following this calendar that wasn't natural, you think about it, there's nothing in nature that does 12 uneven months. You know, it goes 30 days, 31, 28, da, 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 da. nothing in nature does that. So the calendar is, is erratic, is a, what would you say? It's irrational. So consequently, we're organizing our whole society by this calendar. So it's creating a society that's irrational. And that, I think, is getting pretty obvious to most of us. We're living mm -hmm. in a culture that's irrational. So the, this, the Mayan calendar, or the, the Zolkin, helps us to resynchronize with what is natural. All the birds do it. All the bees do it. All the plants do it. Mm -hmm. And it's time for humans to really, you know, we have this opportunity to come into alignment with what's, with what's natural. And how about the 13 moon calendar? You're talking about the Zolkin? And the 13 moon calendar, yeah. The 13 moon calendar also, 13 is the natural number. We have 13 joints, major joints in our body. The moon goes around the earth 13 times in a year. Women bleed 13 times. It is the biological code that is natural to us. So like, you can think of it this way, like we're listening to a calendar right now that's doing 12 months, 60 minutes, time is money, time is money, and it just keeps us really stressed out, you know, and it's kind of, I think of it like, like if you're listening to the radio station and the station is on 1320, but you have it tuned to 1260, you're going to hear like a lot of static and you can't quite hear what's going on. And that's kind of what humans are doing right now. We're not listening to the 1320 channel that all of nature that is living inside the biosphere of this planet is listening to the rhythm of the sun and the moon and the stars. And we're listening to something that's not natural. So it keeps us kind of agitated. You know, it's like we never really get to rest because we're, we're always worried about time is money and we have to make more money and how are we going to pay the rent? And, Nothing else in nature is doing that. <laughs> so the 13 moon calendar, again, helps us harmonize, helps us find a rhythm. And the 13 moon calendar, um, there's 28 days in each moon cycle. They're totally rhythmic. You never have to wonder what day is April 12th, you know? You can't figure out the day of the week, you know? It's always the same. So it helps us relax and come into synchronicity. It'd be like if you got in your car to drive your car and you had a stick shift and every time you got in it, the gear pattern was different, it would be stressful. <laughs> After a while, you know, you just know where it is and then you can relax and just be with what else is going on. So the 13 moon calendar with the beauty of its harmony and its rhythm allows us to free ourselves up, our consciousness up, to be in tune with nature, to harmonize and feel the beauty and the naturalness that, that we are a part of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you had one, one uh, sentence of uh, wisdom to share with the grandmothers that are, you know, in IPs, I'm interviewing here for my IPs friends, what is it that you would share with them? Wow, one sentence. Well, it can be more than one sentence. <laughs> um, yeah, I, 
I think that there's the, the importance of this calendar. Um, yeah, the synchronicity is the, is the natural state. And this uh, synchronicity is our natural state. Everything in nature is operating off of synchronicity and cooperation. So when we align with this 13 moon calendar, it helps us to become an agent of that. And it helps us as a collective to harmonize inside of that. So if we know today is, what is today? Um, blue, blue solar storm. Blue solar storm. So today tells, that tells us there's quality to the day and how do we synchronize with that? Like if we just say it's March 23rd, that doesn't really have much meaning in our lives. So when we, when we hold the beauty of this calendar, it helps us to, to make a prayer with all of nature and to be peaceful inside of ourselves and to um, experience the peace that is already present. Nice. So thank, thank you. you for this quick moment, the spiral of cooperation. In La Cash. In La Cash. I am another yourself. Yay. Aloha. From Hawaii, 19.